Would you rather pig out than make out? Mm -mm. Is there more spice in your kitchen? I could eat curry every day. Than in your bedroom? Maybe next time. Do I feel sexy now? No, not at all. Superstar nutritionist Jillian McKeith is on a mission to help this woman get her groove back. I was not expecting this. But there's much more than just cookies to conquer. Didn't you just get diagnosed with type 2 diabetes? Yes. fancies herself as a cook, which is great, but filling yourself up on hot and spicy foods isn't guaranteed to make you feel slim and sexy. Flabby foodie Erica is always spicing it up in the kitchen. I love to cook. It's really my passion. She loves sugar in her sauces and in her treats. Maxed out at home, she's also stressed out at work. Well, they've piled the work on me. What do you want me to do? She's been married to hubby Brent for five years. So I'll see you. What, in a couple of days? <sighs> Hopefully. When you have an opposite schedule like we have, it's difficult to make FaceTime. Competing calendars don't leave this career couple much time for romance. There are times when he's tired, there are times when I'm tired. We're not on the same page a lot of the times. And when the lights go out, Erica's hefty hang-ups get in the way. Ten years ago, I did not look like this. I've let myself go. I try not to look in the mirror too often. This 46-year-old's cooking crimes have created bigger problems than just big hips. I've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I'm angry with me for doing what I've done to myself. But is she angry enough to turn it all around? My goal is to stand in front of the mirror and go, yeah, I like what I see. Nutritionist Jillian McKeith has just eight weeks to convert Erica from culinary criminal to sexy siren. You must be Erica. Mm -hmm. When I walked into Erica's kitchen, I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh, what is this? Oh, this looks like a, a sorry little mess. Shrimp curry. Oh, so it's a recipe for bloating, in other words. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Oh my god, I felt so bad. Oh, for goodness sake, what are you doing with this in your kitchen? Ew. It means you honestly want that in your system. No. Oh, I felt like a child being scolded, so I felt terrible. Surely you would make the connection that if you've got type 2 diabetes, you wouldn't be eating chocolate biscuits every day. No. So why are you? I love them. Never in my life have I walked into someone's house who's just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and they're eating that kind of rubbish. I mean, everywhere I look, I just see things that are going to make it worse. Look, I'm not saying you can never have white potatoes, but you do need to know that white potatoes do give a quick sugar rush into the body. Like white potatoes should be combined with beans or lentils to slow down that release. I didn't know that. I can help Erica learn which foods will help control her diabetes, and she'll be able to focus on other things, like feeling sexy. Oh my god, it's like a farmyard in here. Did you raid the zoo? It was like there had been a massacre. Too much saturated fat. Not helpful for diabetes. More diabetes? This is whole fat milk, right? Uh, yes. Loads of sugary sauces. What is it doing in your fridge? Really love to cook. I'm going to show you what all this hidden sugar adds up to for your body. And maybe that will be your wake up call. Follow me. She doesn't seem to make the connection between what she's eating and how she's ended up where she is today. Oh my God. Is this cotton candy? Of course it's cotton candy. This is to illustrate something. You are a carb junkie. The kinds of foods that you're eating have a lot of hidden sugars, and I've calculated that you go through 566 grams of sugar in a week, which is equivalent to all this cotton candy that you see before you. I feel terrible that I was doing that to myself. It was a huge eye-opener for me. Big, big eye-opener. I am the best thing to happen to Erica since sliced bread, sliced whole grain bread. Get rid of it all. When you have years and years of eating that way, it's like letting go of a best friend. But then it actually felt really good. What will your husband say? I think he's going to be very shocked. He wants a sexy woman, you want to be a sexy woman. You're not going to be that right now eating like this. Come on. Erica's already eaten her way to type 2 diabetes. Before things get even more dire, I have to get her back to my clinic to find out what other damage her bad diet has done to her body.
When did you start gaining weight? 10 years ago. Okay, what yeah. happened then? My mother had a massive stroke and it was very hard. Yeah. Was very hard to see my mom like that. So the weight started to come into play. I felt terrible, but I felt like I, I had lost control and I just let myself go. She's been eating rubbish for years as a way to eat her feelings. Do you want to change that? Yes. So are you ready? Yes. I want you to ditch that robe, just chuck it off. When people see my body, I think that they will think of it as really ugly the way I do. At 210 pounds, Erica is clinically obese. She has type 2 diabetes, which puts her at higher risk of heart disease, stroke, blindness, kidney disease, and other serious complications. Oh, not bad. Oh, terrible. Oh, look at these. No, terrible. look at this. And this. This is dangerous. That's where you should be thinking, help, my gosh. And you're gonna have to take your sob story about this part of your body and get rid of it. She will have to accept her skeletal structure. If Erica hates her body as much as she does, how can she possibly feel sexy? Give me a twirl and see where we're at. You just need toning, to be honest. Okay. And the focus needs to be on healthy inside. Forget what I look like on the outside, because the outside will take care of itself. Okay, let's take a look at your tongue. <gasps> Classic. There's, when I look at the tip of the tongue, very, very red. I call it heat in the heart. It's okay. constant, chronic, emotional upset. And when you've got type 2 diabetes, the last thing you want is to have more stress, because stress is depleting. Stress in a body will make her diabetes symptoms worse. If Erica really wants to get her groove back, she has to follow my plan of diet and exercise. If she's any chance of getting her health in order, her husband Brent needs to be on board too. I want to talk to you about Erica because I really need you to support her and be on board. Absolutely. I hope Erica feels like the sexy person that I know she is. She hates, and I really mean hate, hates her body. Mm -hmm. You can help that with the kinds of compliments that you give her, the things you say, encourage her along. Mm -hmm. In addition, I'm not convinced that you do enough around the house to help. Okay. You could take a role in getting some of the shopping, couldn't you? <laughs> yep. So I'd like to see you make an effort with that. Anything that helps her, no doubt will help me in the end as well. And what will also help Erica is a super fresh, super sexy new menu. Erica, you've been spending around $130 a week on your totally rubbishy food. She won't have to spend a penny more. Eating yourself sexy has a sexy price tag. Wow, I'm excited about this. You need to eat regularly. Yes. I want you to always have a packet of hazelnuts. Okay. So a handful in the morning, a handful in the afternoon. It will just keep your blood sugar level stable. Okay. Then, the asparagus. It has long been extolled for its arousal virtues. Oh. It contains something called L-glutathione, which is very helpful for the liver. Okay. And the liver is where the sex hormones are conjugated. Great. Now, Erica, you're going to have tofu, complete protein, all the essential amino acids, and a very good blood sugar regulator. Really? Yeah, I knew it was something healthy to eat, but I had no clue that it actually helped with uh, lowering blood sugar levels. Then, the aduki bean, a fabulous bean for losing weight. If you have excess water, which you do, mm -hmm. and it just sucks it up. And it's a supporter of the kidney adrenal glands, so all that stress that you put yourself through, this is going to be the antidote. Erica's always stressed out. Nasty stress hormones dampen desire. And I have a plan to help her on her way. I want you to use techniques in your life that will help to calm you. And so I want to see you drinking teas of chamomile, passion flower, lemon balm. Let's take a sip now and slowly Enjoy the flavors of them. It's relaxing, it lulls you, it will take off the edge if you're feeling stressed. I've also asked Erica to start juicing cucumber and celery because they have cooling properties on the body and calming properties also. You're gonna snack on almonds as well. Oh, which is great. Good source of magnesium. And magnesium is often low in those who stress out. And then sesame seeds. A good source of B vitamins, great. supportive to the adrenal glands, calming to the central nervous system. For Erica's entire life, she has told herself that she hates her body. And I've asked her to make positive affirmations every single day. You're going to say, I love 
every piece of my body. I love every piece of my body. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. And I make it so. And I make it so. Everything that I've gone through with Jillian today will make a big difference. Am I feeling a little overwhelmed? Yes, of course I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. It's week two of Jillian's plan and Erica's spicing, slicing, and sweating her way to a sexier self. But eight days in, stress at work could sabotage her progress. Yeah, I know, I know I'm later than I should have been, but it's just really, really busy at work. We've got a deadline. And she's spending her lunch hours in the produce aisle. It's hard when you're working 10 hour days to get to the grocery store. Well, I'm going as fast as I can. <sighs> Crap. <sighs> After such a stressful week, a workout with her sister may just be the last straw. It's frustrating because you don't have the problem area here. Like I have, you know, the extra, the, hips. the fat. I, I think Erica is very down on her body. And it's like, no matter how much I work out or how much weight I, I lose, this area will go down, but it will always, always be there. I'll always have to hide it. Yeah. And I hate it. I really didn't think that she was hurting so badly. You will do it. You will grow to love yourself. Erica's hit a rough patch, so hubby Brent has left her something to help smooth it over. Erica, you're doing great. I know you can keep it up. You're beautiful. I hope that uh, your body image becomes something that you're going to be happy with. Just remember, I'm there for you. I'm going to support you 100%. We'll get through this together. I love you. I was not expecting that. He's always loved me for who I am, but for me, I've never loved me for who I am. I mean, that's physically, I've just never like looking at myself. So that was, that is exactly the motivation I need right now. Erica's determined to be Jillian's star student. I'm enjoying the food a lot. She'll even drink swamp water if it's on the plan. Mm-mm, bottoms up, Erica. With the juicing of the vegetables, um, I do actually like it. Come on, Erica, there must be something you don't like. I'm so used to doing my prep on the weekends, and I'm finding that I have to do it every day. That can get a little difficult. Thought so. By the time I finish work, get home, prep food, I get tired. Erica's trying to juggle work and the plan, and there's no time left for hubby Brent. I know we planned something for this evening, but I really have to finish up here. Eric and I uh, haven't been able to see each other much very often lately. Losing the weight, doing all of those things is great, but if your partner's not there, it's difficult. Knowing they haven't had any time together, Jillian comes up with a surprise. I'm so excited about this. Come with me. Come on in. Erica, I know you love spicy food. Yes. So we're going to spicy dance Bollywood style. I was excited, really excited, because I love to dance. I love your girl. Up to dance. Oh, that's amazing. One, two, three. Like, I have two left feet. But watching Erica, just to see her smile and laugh, it was great. She's quite a sexy girl inside, and she needed to let that show, and she did. <laughs> I think it was a great experience for both of us. Yeah, we got to laugh, we had to, you know, got to have some fun and learn some new moves. It was great. After five weeks of Jillian's regime, Erica's adapting to her healthy new life and she's reaping the benefits. I look good. <laughs> it's very inspiring to me and I'm very proud of myself for what I've done thus far. But she might be getting a little too comfortable with the plan. Is the student becoming the teacher? I don't know if I agree with this meal plan. There's a moratorium on meat for All the right. next eight weeks. All right. You need a rest from it. And what Jillian says goes, right, Erica? I thought I'd just modify the plan a little bit. I thought I'd pick up some like chicken breast. I don't think Jillian would approve of me buying more chicken and adding it to the plan. Oh well. I've just found out that Erica's been messing with my program. Does she really think she knows more about food than I do? She needs a lesson on how to lunch. Fried chicken. It's not on the menu today, is it? No, it's not. 
I was a little concerned, you know, I'm a little feeling a little weak, a little tired, and maybe I'm not getting enough protein. Oh really? Yes. Well, you know, you were concerned about not getting enough protein. If she were eating everything to the letter on my plan, the only thing she would have is more energy. I felt like a child being caught with my hand in the cookie jar. You've spent, let me see, the past 15 to 20 years trying to get type 2 diabetes. Meanwhile, I've been spending over 15 years helping people with type 2 diabetes to get it under control. So who do you think would be better to decide what you're going to eat today, you or me? Um, I would think it would be you. Well, I had to show her that protein can come from other foods, not just chicken. I give you protein, Erica. That's slab of tofu there. How many grams of protein are in that tofu block, in that 12 ounce block? I don't know, mm, 10? 24. This is amazing. Edamame, how many grams of protein in a cup? Maybe five grams. Wrong, dong, 17. That's amazing. And quinoa? Mm, 12. 24. 24 grams? I was really shocked. I mean, I knew there was protein in them. I certainly didn't know that there was that much protein in them. I've given Erica a little project. I want you to start growing your own sprouts. Okay. Now, I'm not talking Brussels sprouts, <laughs> although they're good too. I don't like them. Take a spoon and okay. put, cover the bottom. Cover the bottom. The seeds. Yep. And then pour like half an inch, just, just enough to cover the seeds. Okay. Half an inch. Yep. Perfect. Put the cheesecloth on top with the elastic band. So what you'll do for the first two days, you'll rinse and put the fresh water in morning and night. Okay. Put them into a dark place. Okay. And tilt them back and forth now and again when you're doing the changing of water so okay. the sprouts can start to grow and, and get their space. Okay. And then after that, once they start to sprout, you put them on a sunny windowsill. And the protein content of the seed will multiply as the sprout grows. So it should increase somewhere between 15 and 30%. Is this enough protein for you then, Erica? I think there's plenty of protein for me. Thank you. Oh, good. Oh, oh <laughs> I feel you are actually grateful. Thank you. It's so nice to be appreciated. <clears throat> Five weeks ago, Erica's self-esteem was at rock bottom. I need it. I need it. Has she overcome her hefty hang-ups? I love me. Doing the affirmations, it just has like a calming effect. It also makes me see my body as a whole, me as a whole person, not in individual pieces. And that's a, a, a huge achievement for me. Erica's not shedding any tears with her sister today. See, my wow. hips, they've gone down. I'm so proud of you. I like looking at myself yeah. in the mirror. <laughs> Good. Kind of nice. It's another A plus for Erica, but what about husband Brent? You could take a role in getting some of the shopping, couldn't mm -hmm. you? Will he make the grade? Erica's been really busy. I've been doing a little bit of shopping, trying to help her out as much as I can. The little things count, that's what Jillian told me. He's even stepping it up for bonus points. I'm learning the ropes with some of the recipes, cutting up and prepping things. When Erica's happy, I'm happy. But Erica won't be truly happy until she overcomes one last obstacle. Didn't you just get diagnosed with type 2 diabetes? Yes. So has all the hard work paid off? When I was first diagnosed, my sugars were actually at 8.9. <gasps> wow. 4.9. That's great. Amazing. These numbers are an amazing reflection on what I'm eating and exercising and, and what I'm doing. I'm really pleased. Like, I'm really, really pleased with these numbers. After eight weeks on Jillian McKeith's plan of healthy eating and exercise, has flabby foodie Erica eaten herself sexy? In just eight weeks, Erica has shed a total of 20 pounds. She's down four dress sizes. She's trimmed three inches from her waist and shrunk her bust by another three inches. Oh my. <gasps> I don't know what to say, I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> You look incredible. Thank you. She looks sensational. She was exuding an aura of confidence that I hadn't seen before. When I first met you, you were diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. That's right. right. You are a carb junkie. Disaster 
for a diabetic. Blood sugars have stabilized. And what did your medical doctor say about that? Very happy. Keep doing what I'm doing and it'll be great for the rest of my life. Absolutely. How about self-contentment? Oh, terrible. So look at these. Much better. I look in the mirror, not running away, not looking away. Good. Not hiding anymore. You can see the difference. You're believing in yourself again. You love yourself. You like what you see and you feel great. I do. I don't feel like the same person. I really don't. I think someone's waiting to see you and I think you should hurry along and meet your lovely husband. I will. Thank you so much. Brent is a lucky guy. In fact, I'm waiting for him to thank me also. I've given him back a really sexy wife. I deserve some thanks, don't you think? I'm really excited to see Erica today. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Wow, you look fantastic. Thank you, I feel fantastic. Good. I'm so proud of Erica. She's really worked hard to get to this point. You got the legs showing, which I, I haven't seen in a long time. I know. Yeah. Great. See my back? Yeah. <laughs> This is a whole different Erica. This is not an Erica I've seen. Uh, we've been married for almost four years, and this is an Erica that is so happy and vibrant, and it is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jillian has been great. I can't describe to you what she's, the difference she's made in my life and our lives. I feel like I have a lot more energy. I feel younger. I'm really proud of myself. Erica always knew how to cook, but quite frankly, she had no idea how to eat. Her diabetes is now a thing of the past, her stress is under control, and her weight has literally dropped off. Erica has not only eaten herself healthy, she's eaten herself sexy. I'm eating myself sexy too. Yes, he's lost some weight. <laughs> it's been great. Yeah. Brent is younger than me, but now I actually feel younger than him. I've eaten myself sexy, yes. Do you think I have? You've eaten yourself sexy. It's kind of nice to have my legs back, you know? Um, I've only seen her ankles. <laughs> Three years. 